we found the best smoke grenade for photography. And in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to use them. This is the Enola Gay WP40. It's a wire pull smoke grenade that comes in multiple colors. It's rated to last around 90 seconds and it's gonna set you back around 10 bucks a pop. Now, that's not gonna break the bank, but we spent around 200 bucks of smoke grenades just to get you this video to give you five tips on how to use them effectively for your shoots. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video because we're gonna actually light off several of them and show you from start to finish how they actually emit smoke so you guys can see and be prepared for your own shoots. Let's jump into tip number one. Tip number one is all about safety. Understand that you're holding fire in a stick, okay? It's gonna spray sparks, it's gonna get hot. This means, first and foremost, do not use it around anything flammable. Do not use it indoors. Do not go into dry brush areas in the forest and start a forest fire. Be smart, don't use it in public spaces. Just be aware of what this is. Okay, along those lines, Enola Gay also says that when using them, you need to be using hand and eye protection. But you're gonna see online that everybody's using them without it because, well, if you're photographing a model, nobody wants to have that in their photograph. So look, do this at your own discretion. At least I can give you some tips on how to do this and how to do it safely. So when you actually pull the cable, do not death grip the smoke grenade. Or if you do, be prepared to at least move your hand, okay? The center column of the smoke grenade is what begins to get hot. Now we found after lighting 20 of these that the center column, while the smoke is emitting, really never gets too hot to hold. It's, it's uncomfortably warm, but it's not too hot. What happens is after the smoke is finished, this is gonna continue to heat up for another five minutes. They say to let it rest for five minutes before you touch it again. So once the smoke stops, drop it. Once it's lit, hold it from the bottom, point this away from the body, and you'll see in this video that when I'm holding it like this, that's where the ash can go straight up and fall down to the arm and cause small burns. Tip number two is to set up your shot first. Now these are rated for around 90 seconds, but we found that on average, we're getting around 70 to 80 seconds of usable smoke time. That means you wanna set up the lighting, you wanna set up your shot, your composition, you wanna instruct the model, rehearse it out, have everything ready to go before you pull the pin and waste 10 bucks. Tip number three is to remember you can get messy or your models can. When the smoke is coming out, there's a lot of powder that comes along with it. So if the wind or if this is angled back towards the body in any way and that smoke kind of lands on light colored clothing, it can leave stains and that could spell the end of your shoot if you don't have a change of wardrobe. So if that's a concern, just wait till the end of the shoot before using a smoke grenade. Tip number four is how do you actually pull the ring? So you're gonna angle this away from the face and body and then you're gonna pull the ring actually straight out. Do not pull it up. Once you do so, this is when the sparks are gonna come out. So this is where EG would recommend you either throw it somewhere safe, set it on the ground or step away. If you choose to hold it, please use the techniques that we showed you earlier in that safety section. Tip five, understand that once the cable is pulled, you probably have around five up to 10 seconds before you have usable smoke. This gives you just enough time that if you need to pull two pins, as you see in this video, you can actually do it by yourself and hand it over to the model, get in position and start shooting by the time the smoke is coming out. We've also found it easy to actually have assistance. If you have other people there, have the model hold two grenades if you're using two grenades and have them pull the pins at the same time on each hand. Bonus tip. Once it's lit and you're shooting away, if a lot of smoke goes into your subject's face, it can cause them to tear up. It doesn't necessarily smell good. So just instruct them beforehand that they can move around, move forward, move backward, move out of the cloud. Also, adding action into the shots is another way of creating really unique and interesting looking images. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment below, let us know what you guys would like to see next and to see how we actually turn this entire scene at nighttime into midday sun. Well, for that, you're gonna check out the Lighting 300 series on SR Lounge. My name is Pi and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ready? Okay. So this one got a little hole right there while it was firing, so 
It's supposed to only come out of that top hole, but sometimes that does happen. So right now it's still cold to the touch as it's kind of letting go of all the, letting it put out all the smoke. This one's not putting out nearly as many sparks as the other one. Uh, is this in slow mo? Okay, so now it's starting to get warm. Um, not super hot, but just getting warm. Again, it's around that mid range where it's going to get hot. Cool. Again, we'll put up the time on how long that lasted. We'll kind of average them out in this video. Remember that you're not gonna get the first few seconds of burn because the smoke is kind of coming out and until it kind of burns evenly, that's when you're going to uh, start shooting. So this is when it, again, I don't really understand the physics of how it's working, but this is when it starts to get hotter. So you wanna put it down on the ground after it finishes burning, let it go for five minutes uh, to cool off. 